I had to wait for the nod. She gave me the nod. It's time to go. Hey, we wanted to do a, about a six month update of our travel trailer. We have a 261 BHXL uh, Force River Salem Cruise, Cruise Light. Light. Yep. Those are all jumbled up in there somewhere, but that's what it is. Um, we have another video on our page of after we first bought it, a walkthrough that we did. And before we bought it, I had really wished that we had found some videos of people walking through it um, after they had bought it for a while to kind of let us know. Because there's some things that that we kind of wish we'd have gotten differently, done differently. Um, there's some things that we're really happy with. Overall, we're very happy with the trailer. It's an awesome trailer for us. Uh, we'll talk more about it as we go through some different things. But we wanted to put a video out in case someone's shopping like we were back in January and February of uh, this year um, to kind of help them think of things that we didn't think about so we're gonna start right here in the big old bedroom uh, get get real close to me right here I want to make sure everybody hears me with this uh, the mattress sucks okay yeah it's bad it's it's bad it's it we first got it Can you in, see? The, in the first video it said we said hey it came with a mattress sorry I'm messing up your made you made the bed I didn't make the bed up. I'm sorry it's bad it's it's bad and I like to eat a lot of Big Macs pieces, but uh, it is pretty bad. It's It was real good the first month, then it started getting bad. Can you see the dips? And it dips. It's, Especially where I sit on it. Yeah, Kimmy likes to sit on it and watch TV or read or work on her laptops and stuff. Tuck that sheet back in. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. By golly. No, we're not. Oh, really? <laughs> You actually did it? <laughs> of course I did. Yes, as you wish. Uh, oh. We have a new mattress coming tomorrow. We're oh, thank God. To get it. Um, ain't saying that made this a bad travel trailer, but we were excited. We're like, yay, it's got a mattress. That's going to be awesome. No, it's, it's, it's not worth the darn. Uh, we, we're, I don't even know if we're going to keep it and put the new one on top of it. We're probably just going to go I out and burn, burn it. it. Yeah, it's really not. It's not, not worth a whole lot. But it worked till we got us a new one. So a new one's coming. So... If yours comes with a mattress, it's real nice in the beginning. In my first video, we said, well, we'll see how it works out. We really liked it. It's gone. Um, let's see. So, the bedroom, uh, really, that's about the only complaint that we have. Uh, the wardrobes, I don't know if we opened them last time or not. Wow, fly come out of there. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Can somebody do something about the flies? Yeah. It's, it's really cool how standard hanger. Standard hanger. Ta-da! Isn't that awesome how they designed that? It's really cool. So when you close it, everything gets all pushed and goes all cattywampus. And they stick out at the bottom. Anyway, it works. It holds quite a bit of clothes up in there. I we, did win. We did like win. the shades. You always win, baby. You wanted the blinds. I oh, wanted yes. the shades. Yes. They are dark. They're awesome. Yeah, it blacks the rooms out. But... But the shades come down and bump here and they hang out. So there's all kinds of light shining through here or you can see in and see out. So Kimmy got this great idea to put some shears up and we'll hit this topic again in a minute. But that's why you're going to see these shears because you could really see in and out with these blinds hanging. And I don't know, the shears were cheap. I don't know what they cost, but they were cheap. They're some cheap. Command strips there hanging up there uh, because when you come... But naked from the bathroom from taking a shower, <laughs> you don't want to have to dodge all the all the, the lights and and visuals. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to the bathroom. This this for the bedroom. Uh, let's show this that we bought. Ah, uh, yeah. We picked up these. Great. At Walmart. Cheap. Yeah, I think they were twelve bucks. They maybe. weren't. 11, those were the cheaper ones. So they were less than ten. Think. Three drawers, real light. Uh, I don't know what she keeps in hers. I don't know if I'm going to open it. Mine, I have underwear, socks, shorts, and jeans. And then, I don't know, some other stuff maybe, but they're, they work really well. They work very nice. We were very glad to get those because you couldn't fit everything in there. And if you don't know, this is what they call the nightstand thing. It doesn't open up. It's solid. So it's not like you can open that and put anything in it. You got the yep. remote control and the wireless phone charger and the flashlight. About all we keep up there. Baskets. Baskets? Baskets are our friends. Yes. 
They're amazing. Electric razors. Yes, electric are amazing. Razors. Remington electric right there. Razors. Beautiful. Wet or dry, great. Because you, you don't want to use all the hot water in the shower. I see you got a little paddle. Um, oh. I have grandbaby grand collection. Baby, grand babies left their toys here. Oh, Still out. wake up and step on the grandbaby toys. Yeah, grand babies left their toys here. That's okay. We love them and they're allowed to. This made for nice storage. We used to keep the laptops up there. Yep. Um, our other things, cameras, things that we wanted, didn't want the grandkids to get up Look. close to. Look. There's the fly. Again. There's Fred the fly. Okay. Dive them all. Uh, under the bed, there is storage. I don't really know what it looks like. We haven't really cleaned it. Let's see. Well, I think uh -oh. all the chairs are on the porch. Yeah, so. I got the chairs on the porch. Not bad. So it's not bad. There's quite a bit of room under there. There's our uh, Blackstone tailgater grill under there that we take when we travel. We have the Blackstone 36 inch out there. We're at a seasonal campground. But it's not bad. You got room under there for storage. And it does stay up. Someone asked, does the bed stay up? It does. It stays up. Nice sheet hanging there, Jack. Nice what? Sheet? sheet. Yeah. See the sheet? Oh, I don't worry about that sheet. Let's, let's move on so that we can not worry about the sheet. Uh, what's next, baby? The couch. Let's talk about the couch. In the first video, I popped it out. I'm not going to do it this time. You can see it in the first video. It's pretty easy. Kimmy likes to pop it out and, and watch TV. Um, I've slept on it before, watched, fallen asleep watching TV on it before. It's comfortable. It's nice. The heater, we believe, is underneath it. And come back in here. That's another thing to mention because we did stay in here in the cold. This heat vent over here will uh, pretty much melt anything you put in front of it. It was it's, wonderful. Yeah, it's, it'll heat this dude up right now. And uh, I'd kept a small bag here and it made that sucker hot. So you use this in the winter, that thing don't mess around. It pumps out some serious heat. Uh, heat it up quick. So that's what's underneath there. And then a little cubby hole for shoes. We put shoes, sometimes we'll keep an extra case of water or something in there and two goods. Oh, we didn't get the little table that attaches. Yeah, I'll get there. The, the, uh, we went to uh, Walmart again and we bought TV trays. We were gonna buy a shelf here with some hinges, uh, but that's a little work. We just went and bought a TV tray. $7 and some change, I think, $8 yeah, maybe. Yeah, they were cheap. They were cheap. But it works perfect for our coffee station. Two extra ones. Yeah, we bought two extra ones. And uh, we'll set them right here. I don't know if you're showing me or not. We'll set them right here. Uh, we have extra family over, which we do often. They can eat here. If it's raining, it's been doing with rain outside, so uh, we can eat inside here. So TV trays were great. My laptop. And her laptop. She keeps her laptop I, Yeah, there's here. my plug. It's right there. And uh, she can set up her laptop there. I keep my laptop. I just sit at the dinette. I like to be close to the refrigerator, okay? So I can be right there. And it's right under the air conditioner, which we're probably going to turn on here in a minute. Wait, it's wait, wait. Pretty hot. There's Fred. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these little dudes, these little trash cans, we thought, what a genius idea. Put these Walmart sacks in them, or Kroger sacks, or whatever. And they're awesome. Now nah, you're carrying these suckers out every hour. <laughs> We're going to get a bigger trash can. They're cool for by the coffee pot because you throw the K cups in it and they work out pretty good. The mini K. The mini yes. K, yes. Her mini Keurig she has there. We love that thing. Yes, we do. We use that a lot. A lot. Um, couch was couch is working great, though. We are liking the couch. Love it. Glad we didn't get the material. Yeah, we're glad we got the, the vinyl one instead of the material. Uh, kids have already slept on it. We've already had the kids up here sleeping, adult kids, and they've slept on it. You know, for camping, it's it's nice. We glamp. We don't really camp. No, we don't camp. Don't Ashley's really. Mother's Day present. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. My little wind this, chimes. <laughs> this TV dialer here. I call it the TV dialer. I don't know what it is. It's for the HD antenna or whatever. Uh, it probably works real well. We're out in the woods. It's a pretty thick woods. We don't get a whole lot of channels, but we don't really watch a whole lot of TV. We sometimes. watch a lot of Netflix. Yeah, we watch Netflix. We bought a, we'll get to it in a second. We got a 32 inch uh, smart TV LG that we watch Netflix, YouTube. We watch a lot of YouTube and uh, uh, Amazon movies, stuff off the internet. We watch a lot of streaming stuff. So it's okay. We, we get the Weather Channel uh, radar thing. It's a 24 hour radar thing. We keep it on. Great sometimes. music. Yeah, it has some good music sometimes. Uh, but it probably works well. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Sometimes if we get a channel, we get it really well. Other than that, it just says searching Laugh. for signal. Laugh TV's good. Laugh TV's really good. 
And the crime shows. Crime shows and antenna TV. Uh, okay, let's move on. We did the couch. We did the, the dinette. Let's do the dinette. Yeah, let's do the dinette. We, uh, we're learning about storage space <laughs> up in this camp. And we don't have enough storage space. So, we turned this one into our drink pantry. Everything pops out of here. Oh, it's kind of a mess. Sorry. <laughs> I guess stuff it's is shifting around. Him. Yes. We had a really busy uh, July 4th weekend, so this was packed full of uh, soda and beer and water. It's getting pretty low. We're going to fill it back up. But it, it works good because we keep it in the fridge and we keep a cooler outside that we keep ice in. So if we need to restock, we come in here and break this down. I mean, you know, it's not a real quick thing, but it don't take too long. We just take the top off here and fill the cooler, fill the cooler back up or fill the fridge back up. You can put whatever you want in yours. We chose to put sodas in that one, and in the other one, I won't open it, but in the other one, we have a uh, cereal, uh, you know, that's closed. We don't put open ones in there. Uh, canned foods that we don't eat a whole lot of, but we want to keep, like, we keep SpaghettiOs here for the grandbabies, you know, if they're not wanting to eat what we're <clears> going to cook. And Jack. And, and Jack. SpaghettiOs are good. On the eighth day, God made SpaghettiOs. They're good food. They're nutritious, too, I'm sure, somewhere. No. Nah, they're okay. Uh, the dinette's my favorite seat, though. That's where I always sit. You um, have extra room on your side, though. Yes, I do. Because I need the extra room. But Can we have a... bug spray down there. Yeah. They have a... There's some geniuses that work on trailers. Um, there's some real smart people there, too, I'm sure. But there's some, some things I think they just kind of threw together pretty quick and didn't think much about it. They took the outlet... I'm not going to try to get you to see it, but it's way down under there, right smack in the middle. So I can never get stuff plugged in. So I crawled under there one time and put an extension cord with three prongs, and we set it up here. So we always have something to plug into without having to always go underneath there and unplug it and plug it back in. It was a pain. But it works good right there. I don't know why they didn't just put it closer somewhere. I don't know. I'm sure they're all like that. Fire hazard. We Probably. light the candles and put them in the sink. We don't light the candles underneath. The yeah, stairs. the candles don't. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. We don't light the candles there. That would be that would be a bad thing. That would be bad. I don't ever want to wake up in the arms of a fireman. <laughs> yeah, just not a fantasy. I got a lot of fantasies, but that's not one. Not for me. So we put them in the sink when we light them. And let's see. Like I said, that's another storage. It opens just like the other one. Uh, we use uh, we put cereal, canned goods, kind of stuff under there. Cabinet space, we showed that in the last one. It's, it's ample. I, it, when we first got the trailer, I liked that it was a, a door here, and then all, it's, it's open all the way through. It's a pain in the butt to try to get something that's behind this panel here. I really wish they'd have just put a door there. Baskets a again. Lot better. So You'll have to show the other I'll one. show the other one with the baskets yesterday. We got tired. That one didn't really have baskets. But we got tired of having to move things every time we drove. Yep. So we have baskets, and that side we just stack cereal boxes so nothing can move. Walmart, no, those were Dollar General, oh, actually. Dollar General Two dollars for a basket. Piece, I think. They were great. Yeah. We moved the trailer, she just loaded them all in there, and they pretty much just stayed there ever since because they don't shift around when we drive, when we go anywhere. But I didn't like this. When we first did it, I thought it was pretty cool to have this go all the way through. Oh, well, that one doesn't. What a great thing. That well, it does about. here. Yeah, this one does. Yeah, it does. It goes all the way back into here. So we have stuff stored back in there. But for crying out loud, you can't get to it. So, I don't know. It's nice. It, it looks pretty like that. But I, I'm all about function, okay, over looks. And I'd rather there be a door there myself. That's just me. Move on. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, the TV. Let's talk about the TV for Switch a minute. Switch me sides. Switch me sides. Yes, ma'am. The TV we want to talk about because when we bought the trailer, there was a piece of paper hanging here. And it showed a picture of a TV screen. And it said, we'll fit TVs. Up to 42 inches. No. Yes, it did. No, I mean, they're crazy. Yeah, well, they're crazy. Unless like said, you angle it. Real genius. It must be angled. It, well, yeah, it'd have to be angled. You're not going to fit a bigger TV than a 32 inch no. up here. There's uh, Edith. Oh, there. Yeah. We have Edith and Fred. <coughs> There's Fred over there. Oh, yeah. <coughs> there he goes. That's our game. I'm gonna, we'll kill him later. <laughs> we'll kill them all. They later. drive me crazy. <laughs> um, we, we looked and shopped. And all I measured it. It's gonna make me a liar. 
Oh boy. I think it was 39 inches, I think, was the width that had to be. 30 inches. But you have 30 inches from here to the wall. And 32 inch TV was the biggest TV that we could fit there because when it went to a 40 inch TV, you had to get into like 32 or 33 inches out so then it would stick out. So when you're looking or you hear something, and I think I even mentioned it in the first video, I said uh, uh, up to a 42 inch TV, and you're not gonna, if you do, it's gonna be clear out to here. Or even if you angle it up towards that cabinet door. You probably could. If you but angle it or something, you probably We could. watch a lot from the bedroom yeah. and from the corner of the couch, and we'd rather have just <coughs> straight ahead TV, not curved, angled. And a quick point. Quick point. I was pretty upset because I sit here a lot, like I said, under the air next to the fridge, and she would watch TV, and all I could do was hear. So I got my laptop. Really loud. Yeah, it's loud right here, dude, because the speakers are right here. So I got all the volume. But I put my laptop and opened it up, and I can see a perfect reflection. So we sit and watch TV that way. Later on, we'll buy a second one and put it in the bedroom. But it works good for me. I just pop up, open up the laptop, and I can watch the same thing she's watching. If we eat there, if not, we'll eat over there. But anyway, that's, I'm babbling already. Are what, you gonna, what's what, next? Fridge. Fridge. Stove Fridge top. Is good. Stove top. Well, which is it? Stove top. Stove top. It's good. It works well. It. I wish we had more counter space. Yeah, it's a pain. Um, we make. We have extra counter uh, cabinet space. What we miss in the countertop space. I'd like to have some more counter space. But anyway, we put. Uh, like now, we got some cherries. We had grapes up here yesterday, but they're gone. Uh, peppers, maters, onions, that kind of stuff. Produce kind of stuff we keep up there. Sometimes we'll keep bread and stuff. And then it all has to go to the table if we want to use the stove. Yeah, and if we have to use the stove, it goes to the table. But to be honest, we don't really use the stove. Not very often. Not very often. Not very much. It works. Works great. It has three burners. Um, don't don't the leave the burner on if there's no flame. Yeah, it'd be a bad thing to leave the burner on with no flame. I did that yeah, once. Clicking. Yeah, come in. Grapes like propane. About blew the place up. Did not. Oh, did not. I'm exaggerating. I wish we had the the board to go over the top of the sink. That would help a lot. Yeah, we'd like to have that right out there. Um, it works. It works good though. We didn't. We chose not to get the oven. We got storage under there. Marshmallows. We're, we're talking yeah, marshmallows, cutting board, jalapeno peppers, pans, pans, Tupperware, stuff like that. Uh, we may get the oven next time. Yeah, we will. K yeah, Kimmy would kind of like to have one. I'm hit or miss with it. it don't Cinnamon matter. rolls, frozen yeah, pizzas. It'd be, good. Yeah, it'd be good stuff. Uh, let's see, I don't want to forget anything. Fridge. Everything's working good. Microwave's working good. Fan's working good and all that. Fridge is working good. We kind of wish it was a little bigger. Yeah. But we kind of wish that about everything. So it's not bad. It's working. Uh, it is we've, well stocked. We've never had a problem with it. Uh, this is the tallest you can get in this, and it holds canned goods very well. Half I know right now, milk. right now it looks like a bunch of alcoholics live here, but that's just what's left from uh, over the weekend. We had Cokes and root beers and stuff in there stocked in there too, but the kids got through those. But uh, it works okay. Well, we wish it was a little bigger, but we keep it pretty well stocked. Oh, we got to make some pizza dias too. Yes, we do. We got the mozzarella cheese up in there. Uh, freezer works great. No issues. Um... I don't think burgers. Nah, I didn't clean a whole lot, baby. I didn't want to. I wanted to look like it always does. Well, almost always does. <laughs> Not always, but it takes about five minutes to clean the trailer. Yeah, it won't take long. It won't take long at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, heater is run off of this. Uh, air conditioner is run off of here, which we're just about to turn on because it's getting hot up in here. You'll be fine. It's getting hot. Up you won't be able to hear you. It gets cold enough in here, 100 degree heat index outside, and yeah. I'm in here under a blanket reading yeah. a book. It works very well. Yeah. Well, once again, there are geniuses that, that, that put some of these things together. This vent here, yeah, it's pretty useless. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Doesn't really blow. It blows a little bit. Not it doesn't? A lot. This one here. It blows it, the curtains. Yeah, it'll blow the curtains. It'll blow the towels. It'll blow the door shut. It'll blow like crazy. But guess what? We live up in this section of the trailer. So we keep this one closed a lot and hope to get more air out of here. But it doesn't come out of here because the filter housing's here. So it doesn't really. You get a little bit out of here, but not a whole lot. It's good. It works great. It, it frosts up the windows. I mean, it, it'll make it snow up in here. It gets, it gets cold. But I don't understand why they did that. I don't know why you would have all this air coming toward the bathroom. And the bedroom and the couch and the dinette and everything doesn't really get a whole lot. You get some from here too. Okay, move on. I'm moving on. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I just I don't understand stuff like that. I just don't understand. I want to understand it. 
Uh, let's see, TV, I mean, we did all that kind of stuff. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Our storage unit, also known as the bunks. Here, I'll let you take that for that. Do what? You're going to run out of room. Um, I just feel like this. Uh, we keep towels. Can we keep some of our curling iron blow dryer stuff up here? We keep toilet paper, extra bags, some tools, grilling stuff. Bar stool. Bar stool up there. Sometimes we have extra people here and need extra seat. There's another bar stool in here. We haven't let the here. grandbabies up there because of the safety window. Yeah. If they push it out. So they've only been playing on the bottom bunk and sleeping on the bottom bunk. And Drew slept down here. Our 24 year old slept down here one night. He yeah. helped Jack build the deck. And spend the night on it, and I didn't hear him complaining. Oh, yeah. hangers. Like yeah, I, I'm not sure why we have hangers there, but we have Who hangers knows? We have hangers there. We have hangers there. Oh, and watch this neat little trick. Oh, yeah. Jack made us some there privacy. Is. There's no... Yeah, let's show it now. Might when, as well. When you come out of the bathroom, out of the shower, this is all the room you got. This is it. Note to everybody. This is it. Get a bigger bathroom. This, this is what you got. So, you step out of the shower, and you're, hello, right here, and everything's right here, and you're trying to dry off and do your thing. I know, we dry off in the shower, too, but the way you see it, it ain't much bigger. You're trying to get dressed, you can't do it. Well, then all the windows are wide open. Look at that. I can't walk through the door. <laughs> wow. I either need less Big Macs or a bigger door. <laughs> so... We would come out here to try to get dressed, and then all the windows were open. So one of us, whoever was taking a shower, the other one would have to go through and pull all the blinds shut and make sure all the all the uh, shears were there. So we took some command strips. Love command strips. Hung them here. It's up there backwards, you big dummy. And we took an old curtain. <clears throat> Ta-da! Ta-da! So we can get dressed in here and change clothes and do whatever we need to do here. It gives us more room with the command strips. And it works great. It works great. So we're going to keep that, keep going with that because that, that's perfect for it. Yeah, it helps a lot. Room in there. The next trailer will have a bigger bathroom. It will. <laughs> and, and I've heard people say it. We watched some of the videos. And I said it and I agreed with it. You're only in there for 10 or 15 minutes. But man, those 15 minutes suck <laughs> when you're standing there like this with a towel trying to, dry. trying to dry off. And then you're walking out here and you're like, what blind? And all the blinds are open and kids are running around in the yard. And you're trying to run through here, start naked. So yeah, that made it nice. So we, so I don't know, I kind of went kind of long on that topic, but that, that was, we just had, we that had was this, at, this at the house. Big addition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we just put command strips, hooks, and then these clips I bought, I think there was five of them for a dollar at Dollar General. I clip them on there. I mean, you can, do it, you can do it without them, but it just makes it easier to just hang that dude up there. And you're good. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way and then come show under the bunk. There's another storage area here. You're going to show under the bunk? Yeah, because uh, I remember when we first bought it, and I mentioned this to the... In the first video, I said... Uh, I asked a salesman, can you store anything under He said, no, I wouldn't. He said, your water... Uh, heater's back air. He said, uh, you don't want stuff moving around, shifting around. Well, we got underneath here and we took a look. We don't move a lot either. No, we haven't yet. We've gone a few times. I don't know if you can see any of that with no light or not. Yeah, I can not see Not really it. a light. Uh, so it's all blocked off back there. Yeah, behind that panel is the water heater and all that stuff. Um, but there's a panel there. So we've got a, our electric space heaters back here. I don't know if you can see it in the dark. We got a, a uh, yeah, the lights coming from the game lighter. thing back here that we use. And I keep some tools in here that I don't need very often. I used them for the building the deck, my drills and saws and stuff. But uh, it's nice to have extra storage space to put stuff. So if I need it. So it works good. It works good like that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to come on into the bathroom. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to grab my phone so we know what we're saying. Oh, yeah, get that. Thing going up here. It's tight here. Oh, let's let's go back to the geniuses. The toilet paper holder. This is so annoying. Yeah. In in the first video, there was a probably a really beautiful roll of toilet paper here sitting on a nice little uh, mount. Yeah. But they mount screwed this into the wall panel. There's not even a stud back there, and it, it fell out like I don't know, maybe 20 minutes after we did the video. Probably. I mean, it hasn't been there. We, we never use it now because it, it will not stay. I even tried putting it back in, there, and it, there's no stud behind there. And I'm afraid to start drilling around and try to find one, so I'm just going to end up taking this one out and just leave it out. I guess. I, don't, I leave I don't, it on the bottom bunk. Yeah. And Jack leaves it in the net. Yeah, we hung a net there to hang stuff. There's razors in there, and sometimes we have our soaps in there. Not our bar soaps, but our body washes and things. The odor eater thing the is odor amazing. Eater thing. Yeah. 
That was three dollars at Walmart. Yeah, those are great. That's the that's what that is. That works good. I just keep it in there. I don't know. There's no My daughter else. Melissa even said, "What is what is that? That smells so good. That yeah. thing's great." See, when you're sitting on the John, that thing's right in your face, right? So <laughs> works good. Hey, here's our huge bathroom. We haven't that's figured out bathroom. about the rust yet. Yeah, we got it. I don't know what we that. can use yet. We're gonna get something like that. We got a water filter. It just you know you only do so much, I guess. But let's talk about this beauty thing. This is Oxygenics. I forget Pure the Shower Genius. Pure Shower Genius. Fury RV. Who? Fury, Fury RV. Fury RV. Model 92781. Model 92781. I wish I would have thought about it beforehand. I would have filmed the old, the original shower head that came with it. Just imagine a water hose on uh under low okay just trickling out because it was you had to rub it on your body because it just wasn't enough water pressure it was amazing huh this is amazing oh yeah <laughs> like, that thing was horrible 2.0 gallons per minute yeah so i'm gonna turn this on to show you why we like this one so much you can tell there's not we don't have a whole lot of water pressure i don't know if you're okay i don't know where i'm going that's all right but you can tell I don't know why it squeaks. It does it. Makes me mad. I'm gonna finally quit in a minute. But we've got a few choices. I think I had five settings. Yeah. So if it's hanging up there, let me get in here. I'm not gonna hang it all the way up because it'll spray everywhere. But then this one here is the one we like the most. Because it, it shoots out of there pretty good. We like it. You can take a good shower with that. Yep. I uh, still cut all my hair off though makes it easier so and it I, takes you a long time to rinse your hair yeah it does it takes a long time then i gotta buff it wax it oh but i think we're gonna put a link to that because that was awesome um we hung a squeegee in there i don't know if you saw it we hung a squeegee so we can squeegee off the walls because it's been getting hot and humid mugging i don't want them to get mildew or anything so we squeegee the walls down when we're done there's actually room to squeegee the walls down but that's about it after that you're done uh, let's see if we forget anything, baby. I hate the shower curtain, but I don't know how to change it. The shower curtain. Yeah, they didn't screw it in the studs either. It's just in the paneling. It's hanging. These back, the one screw's already come out. The other one's loose, just hanging there. I don't know, I'm going to buy one of them pressure rods, spring rods, and put up there. I, we love our trailer. Just little stuff like that. I don't understand why you just, why you don't do it right. Big do bathroom. Right. Go big yeah. bathroom. We will have a big bathroom next time. We're, a real shower. And we're already talking. I probably shouldn't say this. But we're already talking. We're probably going to trade in next year. Probably. It, it, this was only a year old. But we we found things that we like. We want to slide out. We. Yeah. We, we have agreed to a slide out. out. We do okay without the slide out. But we want to slide out in a bigger bathroom. We don't know what we're going to do with the bunks yet. We like the bunks. Make good storage. You can get single bunks and have a bigger bunks. bathroom. We're double bunks right now. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it. We really, we really love it. Still going. I know I made a lot of cracks about the geniuses, but we really do love the trailer. We love the the life. We we're out here at a seasonal campground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here at a seasonal campground, and we had it in storage. I think we did a video on that. If not, we're gonna have to. Uh, we so much are happier with our decision to put it on a seasonal lot. Um, we paid $1,200 a year, so it's parked here. We were going to pay $1,200 a year for storage anyway. I think one of them was 50 and then it went up to 60 and it was going to go up again. So for just a little bit more, we have it here and we stay here all the time. <laughs> we're here all the time. We're hardly ever home. Um, but we love it. We really love it. And... I don't know. Is there anything else we're forgetting about the show? I don't think we so. We want to show what we like and what we don't like in just six months. I mean, there's so much more that we have to learn about it, but I, I don't think you go along with it. We love it. And we've seen this floor plan in a lot of different models. Um, this one's the Salem uh, Cruise Light 261 BHXL, BH Bunkhouse, mm -hmm. extra light, I think. I'm not sure. Wildwood makes the same exact trailer. I think there's a few things that are different. But I've seen it in a lot of different, I've seen the same floor plan in a lot of different trailer models. Um, we like it overall. We wanted the larger, we didn't want the wall here. At first we did. Um, you did. 
I did, yes, ma'am. Well, okay. now we did. We did. When we first started looking, we did. But it makes it nice. Uh, the curtain. Um, oh, <laughs> we have a basement. Did you know we have a basement? Oh, huh? yeah. And your battery's at 15%. So. 15%? Let me go down to the basement and get another. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Um, we you like got a shout out way. to Brad and Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we liked it this way because uh, we, we, it's still wide open instead of having two separate rooms. So when the grandkids are over there playing on the bed and jumping them running down with grandma and everybody else is out of here when it was raining, we were all stuck in here. So it made it nice to have it more open. We will have uh, uh, the vented air next time. I think, am I saying it right? Vented? I think so. Ducted. Yeah, ducted. Ducted heat in there. Uh, we don't like the air conditioner right in the middle. It works. It keeps everything cool. It's, it's pretty loud. It is loud. It's not so loud that we can't stand it because when it's 100 degrees outside, you don't care about a little bit of noise, okay? Unless you're sitting under the TV, Jack. Unless you're sitting under the TV and you can't hear anything. But next time we'll have the we'll have ducted. Um, it works great, though. We're not complaining. It still works great. It works awesome, actually. It keeps it nice and cool in here because it has been hot outside. 105 heat index yesterday, I think it was. Um, but we liked it, having it more wide open. It made it look nicer. Uh, other than that, I think we covered it all for the inside anyway. Maybe we'll do one on the outside later. It's getting dark outside right now. Yeah. We may have to go out there and sit by the fire for a little bit. Yeah, you'll have to do one on your deck. Yeah, we'll show the deck. We built a deck out there, uh, 24 foot by 8 foot, three sections, three 8 by 8 sections uh, to put out there for level. Anyway, uh, that's a later video. I'm, I'm thinking... I think you covered it all. I think so. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Uh, we'll be glad to answer them. We're not pros at all. I mean, we've been doing this since February, okay? We have a little bit more than just those couple months because we practically live here, but we don't have a lot of experience with this. We're just learning it, and we're loving learning it as we go, and we're up to 31 subscribers. 31 now. We hit 30. That's awesome. People have thousands and thousands of them. So thank you. Hopefully you'll keep coming along with us. Uh, we're enjoying it. But we're not pros. We're just learning. Anything else, Kimmy? No. Nope. say? No? I noticed you didn't show yourself on the video this time. No. Yeah. Right. That's cool. You want me to? No. No, I want you to do what you want to do. However you feel best. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head on back down to the basement and lay down in the main cave. So Wait. thanks for watching. There she is. Woo! I don't know if I showed up or not. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit like, subscribe. Glad you're coming along. Take care, and uh, we'll see you later.